So my eagle-viewed viewers, viewed viewers, eagle-eyed viewers is the right term, Ben, well done, uh, may notice a little bit slight of angle of change and the microphone is on this side. I'm having a little bit of problems, I think I am, with audio. Um, I don't know if it's my computer, which is on this side, that is getting picked up by the microphone, or it's just that I'm in a very big room and there's background noise or whatever. But when I play my videos back, there seems to be background noise. So um, let me know if, if I'm, I don't know if I'm hearing things because I hear it on different devices and I don't hear it on different devices. I hear it for different headphones and I, I don't hear it for different. I don't know if I'm just hearing things or is there a little bit of. Um, background noise please let me know guys because I do want to have well provide the best quality around obviously and um, yeah so well, that's that before we let's get into the episode I guess this is one man's journey a journey which will see him travel the world in search of the unattainable some say it is impossible and he has more chance of Taylor Swift removing that restraining order who will he meet will he handle a strange cuisine and how many times will he be sacked this time? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Hexagon Challenge 2. Hello, and we're going to start on this screen for a change because we don't often start on this screen. Let's just change things up. Why not? Um, since we last seen each other, I've got an itchy armpit. Thanks for that. Um, we did, was obviously in the Confederation Cup, which we won in 2 0. Uh, after that, we played Ishmaeli in the league, who Ishmaeli. Uh, fourth in the league, still fourth. At this time, they were fourth. Um, away from home, uh, a point I was pretty happy with. Um, away from home, I, I wanted to win, but a point would do me. I was quite happy. Um, an early goal from 16 year old Adam Diaby. Is that the right pronunciation? Because in my head, it doesn't seem right. That's why when I say I can't pronounce it, is that is because I feel like I'm saying it wrong all the time. Um, but 16 year old, uh, a fucking man of the match award performance at 8.3. Uh, a pretty good goal as well. Really, really happy with him and improving absolutely. He's 16 year old. He's, he's now fr a three star current ability. Was two and a half when I signed, when I joined, and he was in the in the six, under 16s, not played a game. Um, I've given the 16 games this season because what a little player he is. Um, but then we followed that up with um, a 2 0 home win against Ghazal Al Mahala. I think that's the right pronunciation. It's probably not um, an own goal and a, and a goal from one of our new our new centre back, which was pretty good. We then played AS Column again in the second leg of this Premier League African Confederation Cup, whatever it is. Um, we won very comfortably three one to see it into the next round, which we will play today. Then we played another another rival above us above us in the league. I think second. I think still second. Uh, Al. Mazur. I was going to give you this game, but I thought oh, we'll do that Confederation Cup instead. Uh, I'm glad I didn't because we lost 2 0. Uh, one of the players that I'm actually looking at bringing in, Mustafa Mustafa, a centre back, actually scored from the corner. Uh, there was two late goals, as you can see, but still, it's still a defeat. It doesn't matter when the goals come in, it's still a defeat, which I was disappointed against. About Then beat Petro Jet. Well, we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't beat them, we drew Ben, you idiot. 0 uh, 0, boring game. Lots of the other cards. Boring. And then we just played ENPPI, uh, who I think um, our solicitors, I think they sell um, PPI, or they, they try and get your PPI back and do not sell it to you. Um, we will beat them 6 0 quite comfortably. Um, you can see Ch Sharif uh, Ben, yeah, him, yeah, the new signing, getting a hat trick. Uh, Diaby getting, t is that right again? I don't know, getting two goals, getting a brace, and Goma again. Oh, basically. Goal, our another new signing for us, scoring again from a corner. So pretty, pretty happy with that. And we do go in two game. We do play two days, two games in today's episode against. Are they Nigerian? No, the Cameroon. Cameroon um, runners up and runners up last season and at the moment. Um, Cotton Sports. The away leg is first, which is always uh, it doesn't bother me. Away legs or home legs. I don't really read much into it. Uh, I thought I'd selected a team, but obviously I've not. Um, we've got, I think I've got a friendly to announce, well, a friendly squad announcement with um, Algeria, which we won't give, we won't bring that, um, I don't think, we've got the World Cup coming up, have I shown, I've not shown the World Cup group yet, I kind of don't want, this is not about Algeria, so I'm not going to show you, you're going to have to wait, it's it's a pretty good group though, hopefully there's been no spoilers, but is Zimalek, Zimalek is it, Zimalek against Cotton Sports in today's episode, 
which I'm excited about. Um, I never said anyone looked scared. I don't know where they've got that from. I don't remember saying anyone looked scared. I don't know who the manager is, to, you know, so I don't know why he looks scared. But here is the lineup, and it's it's the tactics developing. We're still going with this narrow formation because we have no wingers. Um, I kind of wish I hadn't sold wingers now because we was playing better with wingers. But it's fine. It's fine. We're going to develop this tactic. We've done well this before, and we're going to develop it. We're currently now playing with two w complete wing backs. I'm hoping that doesn't leave us short at the back. It didn't in the last game. Obviously, we scored six goals in the last game, so it kind of worked then. Is it going to work today? Fingers crossed. Traore is in goal. Monsor, Syed, and Golma, and Marus is the back four. Marus and um, Golma getting in game today. I, I was tempted to play, um, what's his face, Al Mas uh, Mossad, who's not even on the bench. Let's put him on the bench. Um, but I just, he's too short for me for centre back. I don't, he's all right, but Golma's been playing pretty well, so we'll give him another game. Fateh, Hassan and Farouk are the midfield. Mohamed Diaby, is it? It's, it's starting to feel a bit more right now, so I think I'm getting it right. And um, Stanley and Sorbe are up front. As you can just see, our bench doesn't really lack any quality. Our attacking quality, uh, our two strikers can't be registered for the cup for the continental football because he was purchased after the window or after the date. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I obviously can't speak, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, my players shouldn't. We have to be alert. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't matter who we're playing. We have to go in here and try and win. Um, I don't think it's going to be. I don't know. It could be difficult. It could be difficult. I'm going to be assertive with them just in case. Um, and let's let's carry on from while we. You know, let's carry on. You know how we played in the last game. Continue that. Uh, we are playing in our away purple. Our third kit. Our purple. Is it purple? I guess it's a purple kit. I guess I don't know. I'm a bit colour blind. Uh, Stanley finds Sobe and Sobe could be in with a goal. The 18-year-old I brought back from on loan. He's got five goals this season since I brought him back. He's doing okay. He's doing pretty well. He's learning a lot. And um, him and Stanley seem to be um, creating a good partnership up front, which I like to see. Um, Sobe getting another goal. And um, I'm pretty happy with that. We are 1-0 up. And I can't see anything. I've, I've moved everything and the light's shining through the window. We are one minute in and we've got an early goal in the Confederation Cup, which I think we can win. I think we could not this just a game. I think the whole competition. Um, two seasons ago, we got to the semi-final of this competition with MC Alger, a team that. All right, it, MC Alger was a very good squad. It was a very good squad, and we deserved to get to the semi-final. It was a very good squad for the division we was in. So uh, Stanley, sorry, Stanley just got a goal. It's two 0 on the night. It's going to be very comfortable, obviously. But I think. With Zamalek, I don't think there's no reason why we can't win it. I, at the moment, we're, we're fifth in the league. We're not doing Manchester United where we're going to win the Europa League to get in the Champions League because I looked at um, I looked at the rules and winning this competition just qualifies you for the Confederation Cup. It doesn't qualify you for the Champions League. So that's not, that's not the route to get in the Champions League. We're not going to have Champions League football next season because I can't see us getting top two. Um, I just can't see us catching them up. It's a penalty. It's going to be three 0 by the looks of it. I can't remember the penalty taker is. It is Stanley by the looks of it, and um, he should sort this penalty away, and we should be very very comfortable within twenty minutes, and um, take a foot off the pedal. I think if we need to do, as we're absolutely controlling the game, not possession wise, but we are away from home. Um, but we're just they've not had a shot on target. They're not even had a shot yet, and we're just really controlling it. Stanley, wrong foot's the goalkeeper. It is 3-0. But yeah, there's gonna be no there's not gonna be much competition until we get to the champions until we get to the um, group stages at least. And then if we can get through there, we get into the semi-finals. I can't see why we can't go to the final and win it. I know it's a little bit comfort com a bit cocky to be so early on in the competition, but I just think if we get our transfers done properly um, and early next season or in the window coming up, um, so I can actually register them for the next stage of the competition. Then I can't see why we don't can't win it. Um, I can't see why we can't win it. But we'll see. There's a long way to go in this competition. But we're not going to qualify for Champions League this season at all. That is definitely. I'll show you. The, I'm not showing the league. I, I didn't want to show you, but I'll show you in a minute after this game. Um, it's not possible. Sorbet is going to not score. <laughs> He's not going to score. I might get rid of the beard. Might shave it off. I'm just. I don't like it. I've had enough. I'm gonna shave it off. I think. I really. 
the last two days I've not been really happy with it, so it's probably going to go, I think. Um, but it's the first one I've ever grown. I've just had enough. I've just had enough now. I don't know. I don't know. Our midfield is looking um, a bit knackered. Let's make some ka changes. Ka changes. That was not not very clever, then, you idiot. Shut up. You shut up. I do talk to myself a lot, right? And uh, it's not really. You're not supposed to talk to yourself. It's supposed to be a bad thing, in it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Who cares? Um, there's no one to fucking change. You're going to play there, mate. I don't even know who you are. He's a young um, right winger that has no place in the squad because we don't play wingers. Which is another question. Do next season... We're going to invest in the squad anyway. We have to do. But next season... We have our three foreign players. Um, Toriore, Cheat Sharif, whatever he's called, and Stanley. There are three foreign slots all filled. Um... So we'd have to sell one of them to bring another foreign player in, obviously. Um, but do we change the squad totally and, and, and bring in wingers that we don't have now? Or do we continue with this narrow formation? I don't know what to do yet. Uh, well done, guys. That was a good win for us. Let's show the league now. Stanley's one of the leading scorers. Well, both Stanley and Sorbet are both one of the leading scorers in the Champions League. On the Confederation Cup, sorry, not Champions League. Which is good. Hopefully they can continue that as we do make it all the way to the final. Yeah, but let's look at the Premier League and let's see how far we are behind. If you remember, guys, he was catching them up, and now we've 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 fucked it up. I think we'll be lucky to actually qualify for the Confederation Cup through the group through the league. Uh, well, we are back, and the um, the round for the next round of the champ of the Confederation Cup has been drawn, and we will play either. I've already forgotten already. Um, if we win, if we get through, we will play. Heartland of Nigeria or Abe Warriors of Nigeria. I've not looked how their game went, so we're going to we're going to play either a Nigerian team. It looks like we're going to play Heartland. Heartland are, I think, one of the the better of the two. Finished six last season. I think only just started this season. Um, six games ago, I didn't think it had been long, and you can see already um, second in the league. So it should be interesting to play uh, Heartland if we if we play Heartland or Abe. Who knows what's going to happen in this leg for them. Um, I've not shown you the team. What a doofus. Another big thing that just happened is, um, you know, I've got the friendly coming up against Montenegro. Um, Meg4 has just got injured for about five months. He's probably going to miss the World Cup, which I'm absolutely gutted about because I will be resigning as... Why am I... Oh, shit. Wrong wrong team. Um, I wonder what's going on then. Why? Um, what was I going to say? What was I saying? I'm going to resign as Algerian manager after the World Cup anyway, so sad, really, but... I'm sure we'll see Meg Fort on our travels as we continue this hex hexagon challenge. But today's team has changed a little bit. Um, Tyrowis starts, starts in goal once again. I just We've got a young goalkeeper here. I just don't have any faith. I'm, he, he's got potential, but I'm just a little bit worried um, about playing him. I really should give him a chance, but we're not done. I've tried to bring in a couple of young players from the reserves, but they're not registered. I didn't register them because I'm a doofus. So I can't really play a weakened side. I played a weakened side as much as I can. Eamon Ali is on the right hand side, Aziz and Al Mazari in at centre back. Marus stays on the left hand side. Ramadan, Kalam, and Farok are the midfield. Diaby is just behind the two strikers once again, Stanley and Sorbe, as they're the only two strikers that can play in the Champions League. Um, they're going to play a very narrow, a very defensive formation, sorry, which you expect them to do. You know, you kind of expect them to do. Let's continue this going. I fully expect, to, I fully expect this run to continue. They've not took that, so let's be assertive. Um, I want you to go and grab some goals. I want uh, you to control the midfield. Just because I don't want them to... They're not really buying it, but I don't want them to just roll over. We're not going to lose, I can't see, but um, we don't want to be embarrassed a little bit. You know, we are at home. It'd be nice to give the fans... You know, it's something to cheer about. I'm guessing there's a full stadium here, 70,000 people again. They use this for the Champions League. As Stanley has just fired that into a section of the 70,000 that I expect it to be here. So, it's going to be a... It's, like I said, the, this kind of Confederation Cup is, is usually um, quite simple until you get to the group stages where it gets a little bit more difficult. 
Uh, but Stanley here is going to run at people. He has done the South African. He's going. He finds Sorbet, who was scored again. And that will, will be his fifth in the Champions League so far. His sixth altogether in all competitions. And these two really are starting to develop a nice little little, little and large um, partnership up front. Stanley being the tall man. Not really a target man, really, to be honest with you. But he's doing pretty well. And Sorbet just passes that past him. And we are 1-0 up, 4-0 on aggregate. And I can guess I can just chill out now. I've said that too soon. They're going to score. <laughs> They're going to score now. Um, are they going to score? No, they're not. I'm yawning. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry for yawning on camera. Um, I don't know. Diaby finds Sorbet, who's going to run at the defence. He tries to have a shot on target. Stanley somehow collects the ball, but nothing comes of it. End of highlight. I was going to say, end of, ha end of game, end of, um, wow, Kalam has just scored. Walid Kalam, a youngster who I think um, really can go far. Another one of these very talented youngsters we have at the club um, has scored an absolute screamer. And um, let's have a look at it. There you go. It's deflected off the, it's come off the defender, obviously, but it doesn't matter. It's a goal for the youngster who I think can actually push Hassan. You've got Hassan, the defensive midfielder. He's much like Hassan, just a younger version. Um, so if we lose Hassan this window, it's, which I'm expecting to do in the summer, um, I'm expecting to lose our big players, um, our centre back Syed, the 18 year old, another, another four star centre back, uh, 18 year old. I'm expecting to lose him, um, Hassan, maybe Fateh, um, Walid. I think can come in and actually do a job um, for. Hassan, if we lose him, Sorbe should get another goal here. He has done. It is five. Is it five nil? Six nil. Sorry, uh, six nil. On aggregate, my nose. I thought was running. Then I thought it was bleeding. To be honest with you, and Sorbe scores a very nice finish around the goalkeeper there, and it's like I said, comfortable, no pressure, and we just we're just cruising into the next round to play. Um, a Nigerian team. It's it's one of them. It's nothing really, no challenge. I shouldn't get too cocky because they probably will score now. <laughs> See? I'm yawning again. Oh. I'm sorry, I keep yawning. But we're cruising. Cruising, cruising, cruising. Bit disappointed about Meg 4 for the World Cup. Really disappointed about that. Maybe we'll be back. Maybe we will. I don't know. Um, but Callum's going to get sent off now. I've hyped him up. He scored a great goal, and he's got himself sent off. He's shown his mature immaturity there. We'll just move a strike. We'll just move Diaby back. Um, I don't know if I could put him in the right fucking. Oh. <laughs> uh, thank you. There we go. Um, what we will do is just bring Hassan on and. Um, Let's rest Diaby, let's do that, and let's just make another change. He can play up front, okay, there you go, you can play up front then. Um, let's bring off Stanley. You can't play the target man, I didn't think you could. But you can go as an adventure, go as a poacher, let's play with two poachers up front. And let's just see what happens. It's practically over now anyway, the game, isn't it? So we'll just make a silly change like that. As we are 10 men down... But it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. Because <laughs> now it's six one. I told you it could be worse. I told you it could be a lot worse. You didn't believe me, but now now you believe me, right? It's nothing to cry about, but um it's a little bit worse now. Embraga keeper dives a little bit too soon. I think he could have done better than that to be honest, but they have got a goal, a consolation goal for Cotton Sports. A goal against the, the future champions of the Confederation Cup. I think we are going to win it. So, um, I'm, I'm, yeah. If I could do a Joey Barton and bet uh, on my own team, I would probably bet them to win this. I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't, I couldn't see me betting against my team. I'm not a bad, I'm not a, you know, a vermin like Joey Barton is. Um, but I think we could, if I could bet on the Confederation Cup right now, Zamalek, to win it. I think so. Uh, well done, lads. That was a good win for us. Well done. And we've done it pretty, pretty simple. Let's, let's not... Um, 
you know, he knows he made a mistake. He's a youngster. I'm not going to read too much into it. We're not going to battle him for it. But we've done it. We're going to play... Um, da, 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 da. Can you see it? You can probably see it. We're going to play... I don't know. Is that Abba Warriors now? Is it a goal? I can't... We're going to play... Um, Heartland. Heartland. Our away goals have won it. Pulled, pulled them through in the second round of the Confederation Cup. And we're nearly, nearly, nearly there at the... Um, what do you call it? I think it's after that. It's the third round, yeah. And then you go to the the group stages, yeah. So we're nearly at the group stages. Way off yet, but it's fun, isn't it? Guys, next episode will be in the league, I do think. Um, I think we're looking at maybe this game here, maybe. Maybe that game and, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, then two games because they're top of the league at the moment. And um, it'd be nice. They beat us early on in the season. It'd be nice to get a little bit of revenge. So thank you for watching, guys. Please, again, let me know about the how the sound quality has been. What I can hear is a humming. I can hear it only when my speakers, if I turn my speakers up quite loud, or my headphones quite loud, but uh, normal if I can't hear it, just just test it a little bit. It's like a... Uh, um, I don't know if I'm hearing things cover my headphones that are dodgy or what, I don't know. But please let me know because I really want to provide the best quality. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope I've not waffled on too much. And I hope to see you for the next episode. Take care.